Well, hello. Thank you for joining me again. Um, I just want to apologize because the lighting in the background does change throughout the video. But that is because I was working on this in different places. So today we're going to be making some jack-o'-lantern pumpkins out of two by fours. And um, you can get these at Home Depot. They're like three bucks for a 98 piece, um, 98 inch piece. And you can get it cut there. However, they do charge 25 cents per cut. And you are going to want to sand these, so I just sand them. I just sand all the edges to make them run, rounded. And the top and the bottom right here so that it's smooth. And then I just sand it and sand it basically until it was so smooth. sanded it I just start sponging on the paint however I did start sponging it and then I kind of just start striping it on um, just like spreading it out like fill the brush I want to apologize if you guys feel my cat crying because while I'm doing the voiceover he likes to come around and you know at the top of his lungs so maybe here I'm just throw my face So like I said, I did kind of just striped, I don't even know what you call that, brush it on kind of, smooth it from top to bottom, except for the top and the edge. I do kind of go back and forth between sponging and pulling the sponge back and forth. Just, I was, the sponging kind of left it like blotching and rubbing the other sponge up and down, getting it. so that's why I decided to go down. And I did do two coats of paint after they dry. Um, actually, well, I did let it dry for about an hour, hour and a half. And after it dried, I went on with the stem that you will see in a second, which I sanded down and cut down into little pieces so that I could use it for the, the stem for each individual pumpkin. So I went ahead and um, sanded the, the blocks, pumpkins, <laughs> after they were painted and I just wanted it to look like worn and old. So I just, like I said, I sanded all the edges till the, the wood was exposed on some parts. I planned on using paint, but my black paint was pretty old and 
pretty dry, so I have some permanent markers, so I went that route, but you can definitely use um, paint. My biggest worry was that when I did the marker, mark, permanent marker, or any marker, in, but mostly paint it, permanent marker, it tends to have like a gloss to it, but since I put the deco, um, not decoupage, what is it called? The, um, it might be decoupage, I can't think of the name. Mod Podge, thank you, sorry. Um, after you add the coat and I did use the mat, um, it does kind of give a slight sheen, so the whole surface looks the same, so you can't tell that it was made with a uh, permanent marker. I did do different figures on each pumpkin. I just wanted them all to look different. I didn't want them to look the same. So I googled some images of jack o' lantern faces and I picked one for each, each pumpkin. Mod Podge over the entire surface and I did a fairly thick coat just so that you know I didn't have to do two coats so I just did it did the same thing all over and all over hot gluing the stem on all three of them.
So I went, I used the twine and I went ahead and did a little dollop of glue in the back. Then I wrap it a couple times around the stem just to like, not necessarily hide the stem, but kind of almost make it thicker looking. And then what's ever left over, I kind of looped, kind of made little like curls hanging off. Um, I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it and if you do please give it a thumbs up subscribe for more videos thanks again sorry for the background noise of my cat crying and the change of the background thanks for watching bye